Hi, this is Laura GB, and in this video, we're going to look at adding a calendar to a Power BI model using Bravo. Instructions how to install Bravo are in the links below. So here we are in our Power BI report, okay? And if we look here, we've got a couple of visuals, but nothing regarding dates yet. And if I go and have a look at the model, we can see there, I haven't got a date table. There's just three tables. And the sales table here has a date column in it. So I do have a table with a date in it. If you haven't installed Bravo, have a look at the instructions below. There's links there, how to do it, etc. Once you have and you restart Power BI, you'll get a Bravo icon on the external tools ribbon. So we're going to click on that. And the first thing it shows you is the analyzing the model. Different video, not our problem today. We're going to go to straight to manage dates. Okay. And in manage dates, first thing it does is a model check. It says, great, it's found a date, it can do things, and you can see some sample data down below. And there's a template selection, and you can pick your template selections and go and put the various parts in. So let's quickly go through the things we need to change in here to make this nice and quick. Interval, don't worry about that. It's gonna automatically scan my whole database, my, sorry, my whole model to find out which columns have got dates in. Dates section, okay, regional format. If your model language is not actually what you really want, in my case, it's not, I don't want America. I want it to be UK. Changing model language is a whole different, it's a whole different thing. So I'm just forcing my one to be right. And I am going to go for holidays. Don't wanna know. I'm taking them out, I'm not worrying about that today. Time intelligence, also not worrying about that either, okay? So I've turned, so I've changed date format. I've turned off holidays, turned off time intelligence. I've got a preview of my data down here. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go preview changes. That shows you what tables it's going to add to your model. And then I'm going to click apply changes. And there we go. In less than two minutes, I've got a date table added. So we're going to take that date and I'm going to put it into there. Now this date table, just about that relationships for me, that date table, has, it's been marked as a date table. You can see that by the little icon that's been put next to the date. It's a good hint. And there's hidden columns, okay? And there is, there, if we look in here, there are um, hidden columns like month number. So that's, you can sort the month column, okay? And so that's all that fiddly stuff that we've been doing in calendars for a long time has been done. And let's go and put in a quick chart. So I'm gonna put in a chart there. And if I look in my date table at the top there, I've got a hierarchy for calendar. So let's click on that. And let's pick up my volume measure. And there we are, let's make this a bit bigger. And I'm going to drill up. So there we are, we can see our years and I can click to drill down. And there are my months sorted in the right order. They've got a year added, whether you want that or not, it's up to you. And I can click down and I can pick up the dates. Let's make that a bit wider to get rid of that scroll bar. So there we are. We added a calendar to our report in less than two minutes. It came with all the bits, it had all been done. And using the tool called Bravo. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.